Hey guys, Leah here with Ode to Paper, and I'm here to give you um, to show you what I used up this month. <laughs> so I joined um, Beth's uh, Use It Up Challenge for 2020. So we're using the hashtag Use It Up 2020. Um, Beth is from Bourbon Creek Crafts. So on the 28th of every month, and yes, I'm a couple of days late, um, we'll be showing you the stuff that we had planned to use up during the month. And so I, I'm here to show you what I used up. So I don't know if you saw my Crafty Goals collab introduction video. But I had pulled out um, a bunch of embellishments that I wanted to use up along with some 12 by 12 papers and some um, 6 by 6 scraps that I, I wanted to get used up as well. So I used everything except for this. This was a 12 by 12 sheet of um, and it's like postcards and, and things but these I'm gonna recycle back into my art journaling stash um, because they're really kind of grungy looking and it was a 12 by 12 by my mind's eye life stories so there's a you know a little certificate and some labels um, uh, a package label the little things, first class, you know, that kind of thing. And I think these would be better suited for um, an art journal. So I'm going to recycle those back into my stash. But that is the only thing that I didn't use. In fact, I used up more than what I had pulled out for the month. So I had pulled out, if you remember... I had pulled out several of these backgrounds. Um, they're the A2 scallop cards by Staples. I had got packages of them from Staples. They were on clearance. There was 10 of them in a package. I used up four packages. Four? I think four. Okay. So I used them for backgrounds on my cards, and I'll just show you an example. So I used them for this back mat on my cards. So that got used up big time. Four packages. Excellent. We're throwing that in the garbage. I used up three partial sheets of um, enamel dots, pearl dots, um, little diamond dots, and I put I used them all on the cards for embellishment. So I used up three of those. I also used up a package of sugar dots from Prima from the Everyday Vintage Collection. Those got used up. So four of those. I also had to pull out an extra one, which I used half of that one up. So that wasn't in my original set. So those are going in the garbage. And I also pulled out um, three sheets from uh, my stash of random 12 by 12 cardstock uh, pattern paper. So I used those up, three of them, and uh, you'll see those in my um, show us your sheet load video that I'm also posting this week. So, and then along with that, I used up a full pack, 10 pieces of um, stickers, vellum stickers. So, yay, that's gone too. So, then on top of that, I had um, a set of what I'm calling my um, paper pad, to kill a paper pad. Uh, but I have some kits that are not full kits. So they're kind of random, you know, eight, 10 sheets of pattern paper from certain companies. So the ones I had for this month 
were from Stampin' Up! And there was, I think, 10 or 12 sheets. I did not count them. Silly me. Um, but I made cards. So these ones here are just the random ones that I made um, with some of the pieces I had left over. So these were the last ones that I made. And yes, they're all thank you cards. These ones, um, probably most of these are going to be thank you cards. I work in a nonprofit organization, so I'm going to donate some of these to that organization um, that they can use instead of having to buy them. So those are the random ones that I made without sketches. Now I'm going to show you what I created with my sketches. So this is Sunday Sketches um, SS018 and I created so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I created eight cards with that paper. And there were several different um, kinds of the paper. They all seemed to come from a set because they all coordinated very well. The colors matched. I just don't know what the name of the... I have no idea. It's an older Stampin' Up! DSP set. So eight of those. And then I created... This sketch is Sunday Stamps, so SSC 140, and I created four of these. And what a great way to use up those papers. So all four of those. I used craft cardstock on all of these because it really fit with the, the paper. All right, next we have, <laughs> this is a Cards TV Kit Caboodle Sketch 13, and it's from 2016. Um, this was nice because they had all the measurements on it, but I created quite a few of these. So we have nine of these so I have nine of this style what was nice too about this was that I pulled out I, I rarely use 12 by 12 colored cardstock but I do have a stash of it and they're random as well so I was able to pull out a bunch of those and use those up as well my um, I have a theme for this year and it's uh, simplify minimize and organize so this year I'm really trying to use up a, the stash that I have um, that I don't go to all the time and really um, I don't buy them anymore. So I'm going to use up what I have and uh, then I can, you know, clean up, minimize, organize, simplify. Okay, next we have my favorite things, sketch 376. And I created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Some of them cards look a little busier, but there was a lot of busy paper in this pack. So I kind of have to just make it work. So seven of those, my favorite things, 376. And then I have, <clears throat> this is a Pamela Young sketch um, from 2012. And I created two cards um, based on, you know, it's a little bit, it's not an exact. Uh, this orientation I went this way, this one I went with the uh, squares up and down. So that's the Pamela Young sketch from 2012. And lastly, I have Sunday Sketches uh, SS023. And I made quite a few of these ones. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with the Stampin' Up! DSP. And then one of the other pieces I had was a um, some six by six paper that were just scraps um, from, I think this is a Cartabella. So I managed to get, um, I used up those scraps on one piece as well using the same sketch. So that was Sunday sketch, zero, two, three. All right, so I've covered my, <laughs> I've covered my use it up and my kilopad for, for January. Um, I was actually really happy with what I was able to use up. Um, and I hope to keep that up going forward every month. So this um, video next month will be posted on February 28th. Um, so use the hashtag if you want to see what everybody is using up. Um, use it up 2020 is the hashtag. And you can also hashtag Bergen Creek Crafts, Crafts Your Stash. Um, yeah. So that's it for this video and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.